Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a bottle. Open up 3D Studio Max. I'm using version 2022, but this can be done in earlier versions as well. With 3D Studio Max opened, let's go to the Create panel on the right side. Grab the cylinder. Let's go to the top viewport and just click and drag something around this size. Head over to the perspective viewport and maximize it. We need to be able to see the edges of our object. So hit F4 and let's go ahead and modify the segment. Go to the create panel parameters. Let's reduce the segments. So the height segments reduce to one and increase the sides to maybe a hundred. So just type in a hundred, something like so. Go to the modify panel and apply the edit poly modifier. Select the edge, select one of the edges on the cylinder and click on ring. This will select all the edges within that same line. You notice all of them are now highlighted red. Let's go over to the extrude settings. Zoom in so you're able to see what we're doing maybe 0 0.025 or anything else would work, but something similar to what I have here. We're going to extrude outward around this much. And I think that looks okay. Click on the tick to finalize the operation. Let's go ahead and select the polygon. Click on the top side of our bottle cap. Let's go ahead and click on inset. Click and drag like so, release. Let's select the bevel. Click and drag a little bit like this and then let go here. We can insert again one more time. So we're just creating some of the details on our bottle cap. Bevel one more time. This time we'll go inward slightly, just a little bit, just to try and give it some sort of detail. And I think that looks okay. Head over to the modifier panel, select the polygon but this time we're going to work under here. So get the select and move tool, click one time, inset and extrude inward. Okay. Something like this. Now we can click out again and here we go. Let's go ahead to the front view port. Click and maximize that. So we're going to grab our bottle cap and bring it slightly somewhere up here, a bit higher, like so. So now we're going to create the bottle itself. So head over to create on the tab at the top, or you can do the same on this side, but I'm going to be selecting it from here. Go to shapes and select the line tool. Although the cap is still selected, as soon as we start creating our bottle, that will be automatically deselected. So click somewhere here and we've already got our first line into making our bottle. So just try and follow what I'm doing. Nothing too crazy, just something a bit simple for today's lesson. So click and drag without letting go. You can control the appearance of our bottle. Let's go ahead and do something like this. Maybe head out a little bit more. Something like this. Okay. Um, if you make a mistake anyway, just hit the backspace on your keyboard to return to the previous point and do it again until you get the desired shape. So to finish off, right click on your mouse to exit the function. And this is the basis of our bottle. Let's head over to the perspective viewport again and maximize that. So this is what we have. With our line still selected, get the select and move tool. Let's go to the modifier panel and apply the lathe modifier. So just hit L on your keyboard and select the lathe. This is what we have and to modify that 
click here and select the axis. Now we should be able to control the form a little bit better. Let go, head over to the top viewport so we can further customize this. Go to the front viewport as well. You can just try and uh, make sure it looks correct over here as well. I think that's okay. But you can play around with it a little bit more. I'm just uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just uh, move forward. So there we go. We've got our bottle. Hit F4. Let's increase the segments. The more segments we have, the smoother the bottle, but that's not really a problem. We'll apply the Turbo Smooth modifier after this. Now let's deselect the axis, grab the lathe and maybe close that. Let's apply the Edit Poly modifier to add a little bit of detail. So grab the edge here, maybe select one line like so. Let's select, um, so one, two, three, select another one here. Do the same thing again here. Let's turn this round here. And I think maybe one more or two more. Okay. So with our edges selected, go ahead and loop. This is what we have. Go to the extrude. Go to the extrude settings. Let's zoom in. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Or we can just enter specific value here, maybe 0 0.2. Let's try that. That's a bit too big. Maybe 0 0.1. That looks all right. Let's go ahead and uh, increase this as well so we can extrude outward just a little bit. just to give our shape a little bit of detail. This is just to give you an idea on the different things you can do and the amount of detail you can have. So for the purpose of this lesson, I'll stop here, but this is what we have. Let's go ahead and apply the Turbo Smooth modifier. So hit T on your keyboard again and select Turbo Smooth. Maybe increase the iterations to two. And let's see what we have. Hit F4 and there we go. We've got a bottle with a little bit of detail on it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop me some comments below. If you have any questions, I'll make sure I answer them. Thanks and see you on the next lesson.